In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a table of values from an equation and then graph. The first question reads, complete the table of values and graph the relation below on the grid provided. The equation is y is equal to 3x plus 1. We need to start off by finding our y values. To do this, we'll input our x values into the equation to find out our output, the y. Let's do this using our calculator. So we have 3 times negative 1, this thing, plus 1. And this gives us minus 2. Now we'll do the same thing for all inputs. 3 times 0 gives us positive 1. And so we have the following outputs for the inputs. The next thing we'll do is find the first differences. To do that, we take every preceding y and subtract it with the previous y. So for this one, we can't subtract this with any other y, so we're going to write down na. But for this one, we're going to take 1 minus this number, and we end up with 3. And similarly, 4 minus this number, and we end up with 3. 7 minus 4, and we end up with 3. And 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. To graph this, I'll take this point, negative 1 and negative 2. So negative 1 and down negative 2. Our next point is 0 and 1. So 0 and 1. Our next point will be 1 and 4. So 1 and 4 is over here. Our next point is 2 and 7, which will be off the grid. And if we connect these points without graphing this last one, we end up with a straight line. Now notice that for each x value that we chose, it went up by three points upwards. So take, for example, negative 1. It went up 1, 2, 3. And this happened for every x value. And if you notice, that number 3 represents the first differences. So the first differences help us to know what the slope is for the line. This number right here represents our slope. And also take a look, we could have even extracted this information from the equation itself, where we had y is equal to 3x plus 1. Let's move on to the next question. In the next question, they ask us to complete the table of values and graph the relation below on the grid provided. The equation is y is equal to x squared plus 1. So once again, I'll use my calculator to input all of these x's to find my y. We'll start off with negative 1. So we have negative 1 to the power of 2 plus 1. That gives us 2. And I'll do the same thing for all the other numbers. And we end up with 10. So I'm going to graph these points. Negative 1 and 2 is up here. 0 and 1 is over here. 1 and 2 is over here. 2 and 5 is up here. And lastly, 3 and 10 is going to be all the way up here. So we end up with this curvy graph. And what this is called is a problem. I mean, if we had chosen other x values less than negative 1, we would end up with something that looks like this. A symmetrical curve where any point along this curve is at a fixed distance from a point in the middle known as the focus. Next, we'll find the first differences like we did above. This will take on an A. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And unfortunately, unlike the question above, where we had a straight line forming in the graph, the first differences here don't tell us anything. They have no meaning, unfortunately. But if we were to take the second differences, which means we subtract these y's from each other, we'll end up with something special. Let me show you what I mean. 1 minus negative 1 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Notice the consistency. When you have a consistent second difference value, this means that the equation that you've been given will produce a parabola. And specifically, any second degree equation, like the one we've used here, will produce this shape. 
and these equations are called quadratics, a name given for second degree equations. And in our previous example, these are called linear equations. And in linear equations, the first differences are always consistent. So there you have it. Two examples on how to create a table of values from an equation and then use the points to create a graph. This can be done for literally any equation that has an input and an output. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.